back to my channel everybody, my name is Rick Bork. We're back to working on this 2004 F-150 again, and uh, as I said in my other video, if you didn't see that one, check it out, but uh, I'm doing a little modifying on this brush guard, and I'm going to try to give you a view of what I did here. If we come down here, you can see the old hole there, where the brush guard would have lined up, and the new one that I cut right there. The reason for that is because I had to pivot the brush guard forward to make clearance for the hood. And if I had just slotted that, you could see how offset those holes are. If I had just slotted it, it went to lined up. So we put it in, the, in its new position. We pivoted it out off the bottom bolts. We put it in its new position and cut some new holes in there with the torch. That should work out just fine. Let me try to give you a view down below. And let's see if we can... That's a view of the modification we did. You can see we had to cut different slots in the bracket on the bottom there. The, uh, apparently the tow hooks on the newer trucks are further forward. It's the same frame spacing and everything, it's just the tow hooks are for, further forward on those trucks. And uh, so we had to move everything, we had to cut the slots a little further back and get everything to line up. But, so far it seems like it'll work out. We're going to throw the bolts in there and she seems like she's pretty rigid. So, And actually the reason I went with this kind of a brush guard is I was looking for one for this truck but the older ones they follow the grill line. So they come up, they come up straight and then they, they bevel out to follow that grill line, that headlight line. And I just, I don't care for that look like it's splaying out. I don't like that. So. I found one of these on Craigslist for pretty cheap. It's a ranch hand brush guard. I know what they go for new. They are not cheap. About uh, 750 bucks new and I got it for 100 bucks on Craigslist. So Can't argue with that. So I'm going to throw some bolts in there, get that thing tightened up and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Next project will be mounting the light bar on that brush guard. So jump over and check out that video. I do appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.